Hi, this is Dr. B. In this video, we're going to look at how to find valence electrons on the periodic table. Remember, groups go up and down. They are the columns on the periodic table, so groups go up and down. So in group 1, or sometimes called 1A, all of these elements have one valence electron. In group 2, or 2A, all of these have two valence electrons. We're going to skip the elements right here, the transition metals in the middle. They do have valence electrons, but it's a little more difficult to tell and really not something you'll be expected to know. In group 3, or 3A, three valence electrons. And we'll keep going 4, 5, 6, 7, group 8, which has eight valence electrons, except for helium, which only has two valence electrons, even though it's in group 8 or 8a. So remember, the group number is the number of valence electrons. Sometimes you'll see that group 3 has a 1 in front of it. It's called 13. We have 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. You can still just think of this as 3 valence electrons, 4, 5, and so on. It's just another way that you see it written. So why don't we practice just a bit. I'll choose an element, pause for a second, and you figure out how many valence electrons. How about phosphorus? Group 5 or 5A? Five valence electrons. About magnesium. Group 2 or 2A, two valence electrons. One more. How about bromine? Group 7, so it has seven valence electrons. Let's wrap up with two exceptions. How about copper? Well, remember we said copper is in the transition metals, so we're not going to worry about that. And then, how about helium? Remember helium? The exception has two valence electrons. So that's it. Those are the valence electrons on the periodic table. If you know your group numbers and you remember that groups go up and down, you'll have no problem figuring out how many valence electrons there are. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.